Hey guys, welcome back to Green Tea Garden. Um, basically, it was raining all day. Um, I didn't get to come in here a couple days to like really get in here, like you know, prune in, pull out weed, harvest, or do stuff. The only thing I came in the other day, you guys remember, I harvest a bunch of cucumbers over there. But um, you could see my leaves here. So th this is what I'm telling you. You can see that one is dying, basically just dry out and die. These are yellow. Guys, when your squash or zucchini leaves are yellow, it's an indication of some kind of bug. Either Well, I had the vine border attack, and then I had squash bugs. So that definitely was my problem here. I had a bunch. So I'm going to try to save this plant. You could still save this plant because I got out the vine border a couple days ago. And you guys, if you look right here, these are my new leaves that are coming in. And you can see how healthy and green they are. So what I'm going to do, I'm basically going to prune out everything around there and I'm going to add some um, coffee ground and fresh soil and that should be coming back to life. Simple and easy. Not because your, you know, your plant got attacked by vine border and squash bugs and the leaves are looking, you know, dried up is going to, you know, you're going to lose your plant. No, it, it's, that's not easy. That's not how we lose our plant that easy, guys. We don't, we don't give up that easy, all right? So we're going to bring back that plant to life. But if you guys see right here, I have some big fruit that has to get harvested because it's literally pulling my plant down and basically my plant is just wasting a lot of energy for overripening and overgrowing these things so i'm gonna come right here and relieve some pressure and energy from this plant um so beautiful beautiful zucchini right there guys and come right here so we come right here you can see another one is coming up right here, but this one is just pulling and sucking out all the nutrition. So the reason why I'm telling you it's sucking it out because your energy is coming up from the bottom and then it reach, it stops with the main fruit. It gives this energy before it gives everything else. So by harvesting it, this is why I told you, by harvesting that now, now the plant is gonna be pushing up. Instead of these two leaves, we're gonna take out two leaves here. We take that one out and that one out. So gonna toss them there for now so literally we're gonna most of our energy now is gonna push through like these little stuff these are like the male flowers left back i'll cut them out i just wanted to show you guys real quick i do have smaller um female come in there um guys always remember for anyone that's new this skinny stem right here that's gonna be a flower that's your male flower all the way back there that little one right there that's look like a fruit that's your female flower always remember remember guys when you're pruning always leave six to eight leaves you do not want to stress out your plant too much so we're gonna turn around I'm just gonna do this really fast guys uh, you can see I plant some new bottle gourd bottle grow, gourd will grow really nice in even in fall weather they grow really really well guys so this plant went through a lot from vine border and stuff like that look this one was dying out it's fine we got new ones coming out so we're gonna make this we're gonna prune this out and keep tying it up and same thing i'm gonna add um some fresh soil with coffee ground and that bring that back to life look at this beautiful guys come on you go to the store you can't afford these things it's like a fortune in the store and you go in the store it'll never taste like this guys so we're gonna come right here this one is small but it's gonna be delicious on the grill and basically I want to get the plant going more this one is a baby yet I'm gonna leave that a little bit it's gonna be perfect on the grill guys so tomorrow I'm gonna to be heading down by one of my neighbor down the block from me and I will be dropping off a couple stuff to him it's a really really cool awesome neighbor this plant guys if you could see vine border attack to the max I got most of them out and you could see the fruit was yellow at the bottom there they were dying we'll break them out but look we have new fruit coming up there which I save save the plant I'm telling you guys look right here not a situation see this right here it's vine borders from the bottom because I had attacked by vine borders right there too and same thing I'm gonna prune out all the yellow leaves but I waited I waited until more new leaves are coming in and new fruit so then i could prune out the rest around it and actually you know revive the plant kind of like bring it back to brand new so keep losing in some stuff here um i have one squash over there i have another one right there i'm gonna get get rid of them right now so 
I gotta come back here. This was the worst area I didn't get to take care of and I got attacked really, really bad here. Vine border guys are no joke. They are not something you mess around with. Show you guys. I got a green pumpkin, green pumpkin hidden back there. Um, had some heavy wind, rain the other day, but you could see stuff still growing. I've been harvesting a lot of tomatoes. And the weirdest thing is, and the funny thing, I did not plant a lot of tomatoes this year. This year, for some reason, I wasn't planning to do a lot because it, it it's a lot. Like, you know, it's a lot of tomatoes. So we don't, you know, we give, but then we eat. We're going to have to start, um, you know, kind of freeze some stuff for the winter. So we're going to come here, get this guy. So now you could see this basically like most of my plant was attacked, you know, and really bad. You could see all the stuff is dried up. But um, there's great news. This plant is not over yet, guys. Oh, it's not. This plant will be coming back. I'll bring it back. Like this one here, I um, did really well in this one. And you could see it's coming back right there. Fruit is coming back. So I'm going to be pruning out more from the bottom. And look how much leaves. A lot of leaves. And they're coming up with powder mildew. Guys, um, powder mildew makes homemade baking soda, water, and a little bit of soap. And spray it from the top and spray it from the bottom. Do it in the morning or, or the evening time and it will get rid of it. Or you could prune the leaf out, but be careful. Um, powder mildew do spread, so you want to cut it, put it in a container and get rid of it right away, guys. There my son said more rain coming. So this is what I got so far. Um, I don't think I'm going to walk more in the back there yet. I'm going to continue on these plants right now. Basically pruning them, tying them up, and as I said, you know, fresh coffee ground and fresh soil. Put, if you guys have any organic fertilizer, you could put it too. But I have compost on the bottom, which is still decomposing probably right now. But um, fresh soil have a lot of stuff inside, always, you know. And if you guys could see, the greenhouse is a hot mess. That's a spray bottle I mixed and used um, for powder mildew and stuff like that, soap water. My corn, so not really the best of going on corn. And the mistake I did, I have three corn in the bucket, which is too much corn. Um, I do not want to mess with it. Uh, they're growing right here. I don't know if they're going to make it. So we're going to keep our finger crossed on that. But um, I got a lot of work here, guys. You can see I plant a new one there. I got a, a couple of new plants I plant in there because we still have time. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to see we're just going to go through and start pruning. This one here, I had saved this plant too. I got some rotten one on the bottom. I'm going to take it out. Rotten one due to the bugs, due to um, didn't get pollinated. Could be sometimes I don't have enough nutrition in the plant. Could be a lot of stuff. So back here, I do have a wa two watermelon back there. But you can see all the weeds coming in. So I got to pull out all the weeds. I got to prune all those cucumber plants. There's a bunch of like dry leaves, sunburn leaves, all that stuff. It's a lot of work here, man. I'm gonna have to hire somebody to come in here. I need a I need a garden helper probably in here, and it's not even a big garden. So imagine, you know, you guys with the big garden. Like it's a lot of work, but it's fun. Once the weather is nice, you put on your music. It's a lot of fun. All right, guys. So uh, that was my quick harvesting and some quick tips there. Um, remember, one more tip: if you guys are coming, uh, if you guys hand pollinate. You know, to the beginners, come in the morning time and hand pollinate and, um, you know, get your male, you know, the female to the male flowers from your zucchini plant right here. Remember I told you guys, this skinny one right here, that's your male flower. And then the one with the, let's see right there, the one with the fruit right there, that's your female. So uh, that's how it is, easy to hand pollinate. I do have a lot of videos, guys, on stuff. There's a bee right here pollinating somewhere. Yep. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching Green Tea Garden. Uh, if you're new, welcome, guys. We're all about, you know, home gardening. Uh, it's my small little outdoor garden and greenhouse. Please subscribe for more videos, and I have a lot more videos in my playlist. And if you click the bell icon, it's 100% free. Every time I upload a video, you guys will get it right away. And thanking, and big thank you for everyone who's been watching, subscribing, and supporting. Really appreciate you guys. And uh, any question, guys, please comment. Thank you so much for watching, guys.